Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, So, back again in this third video So, in this third video, we will learn about matrix inverse Okay, a square matrix A is invertible or non-singular if there exists a square matrix B called an inverse of A such that A multiplied with B will be A equals to an identity matrix So, I is what we call identity matrix so if you still remember, identity matrix is a matrix in which the leading diagonal is all equals to 1 and the rest is 0. So this is for 3 times 3. Okay. And the B times A also will have an identity matrix. Okay. So the B is called an inverse of A. Uh, we write b as an a to the power of negative one okay it's not actually the power it uh, in matrix that negative one is what we call inverse okay and a is called an inverse of b an invertible matrix a has only one inverse so the inverse is unique and is denoted by a to the power of negative one okay so a times a inverse equals to identity matrix and A inverse times A also equals to identity matrix. So when the determinant, okay, the determinant A is equal to 0, A inverse does not exist and A is called non invertible or singular matrix. Inverse is as this one, okay, if A and B are non singular matrices or what we call invertible then the multiplication of a b the inverse of the multiplication a b is equals to b inverse times a inverse okay second one is the inverse of an invertible matrix is also invertible okay means a inverse inverse is equals to a and the third one any non-zero scalar product of an invertible matrix is invertible okay so if k uh, let's say k is our scala k multiply with a inverse then we will have 1 over k a inverse okay let's now look into how to solve the inverse for 2 times 2 matrices okay so inverse of matrices 2 times 2 let's say you have a equals to a b c d okay the general uh, 2 times 2 the inverse of a is equals to 1 over determinant a and then d negative b negative c a okay d negative b negative c what we call a join of a so a join of a is actually uh, the conjugate transpose what we call so as conjugate transpose okay so what is conjugate okay if you still remember the conjugate is the one that plus minus minus plus okay now the different now is uh, the a and d will change places a and d will change places while the b and c will change sign so now it's negative b and negative c okay so for conjugate transpose the a and d will change places and the b and c will change sign so the determinant is a d minus b c therefore you have this one as the a inverse formula okay remember a is invertible if and only if the determinant is not equal to zero because the determinant is here right the, in the denominator if you have one over zero then your uh, function or any value is undefined so we cannot have 1 over 0 so we said your matrix a is invertible there's no inverse for a if your determinant equals to 0 okay so let's see this example okay the example asks you to find uh, to show that the inverse of multiplication a b is equals to b inverse times a inverse okay so we find a inverse and b inverse first okay so just now we have a inverse equals to 1 over determinant a times with adjoint a which is 
uh, the adjoint A is the conjugate transpose, right? So the D and A will send, will change places, while the B and C will change sign. Okay. So you have to find the determinant first. Okay. So A determinant is this one. Okay. From here, one times four minus two times three. So you have. 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3 which is negative 2 okay and then we find determinant b directly which is 2 times a minus 0 times negative 2 which is here 2 times x minus 0 times negative 2 then you'll get 16 okay so just use the formula to find the inverse of a which is 1 over determinant 1 over negative 2 times with the conjugate transpose okay so from here the conjugate transpose the adjoint become this one okay 4 negative 2 negative 3 1 and then each uh, this this color the negative 1 over 2 times with each element in a you times with each element in a then you get this as your a inverse okay and then the same process to your matrix B okay the adjoint of B is A202 okay A202 so you have a uh, 1 over 16 here times with every element in your matrix B so you'll have this one as your matrix B inverse So before we find the inverse of A, B, we multiply first the uh, matrix A with matrix B. So we have matrix A here. Okay, multiply with matrix B. Then if you still remember the multiplication is uh, the first, uh, the row of the first matrix multiply with column from the second matrix. Okay. And then you have this 2 is actually 1 times 2 plus 2 times 0. Okay. So the 14, how do you get 14? 14 is uh, the first row with the second column. The first row with the second column, which is 1 times negative 2 plus 2 times 8. So you get 14. And then this 6, okay is the second row with the first column second row with the first column which is 3 times 2 plus 4 times 0 and lastly the 26 is second row with second column second row with second column which is 3 times negative 2 plus 4 times 8 okay so the inverse of this matrix is this one how do you get the inverse so again first you have to find the determinant of a b the determinant of a b is a d minus b c which is 2 times 26 minus 4 ti 14 times 6 at negative 32 okay so here is actually 1 over a uh, negative 32 and then the adjoint will become 26 negative 14 negative 6 and 2 okay and then you multiply this 1 over negative 2 with each and every element in your matrix then you get this answer inverse of multiplication a b is equals to b inverse times a inverse so your a inverse and b inverse you have find uh, the answer just now so you multiply okay so this is your b inverse and this is your a inverse so you do multiplication okay again the row for the first matrix times with the column for the second matrix okay so for example this 0 0.8125 is actually 1 over 2 times negative 2 
plus 1 over 8 times 3 over 2 okay and so on for example this one I'll give you another example this one is actually the second row okay for your first matrix times with the second column for your second matrix okay so it is actually 0 times 1 plus 1 over 8 times negative 1 over 2 okay so you have been you have proved that actually a b the multiplication of a b inverse is equals to b inverse a inverse okay now we are going to see the inverse for three times three matrices okay inverse of matrices three times three if a is equals to the matrix three times three and the determinant a is not equal to zero then a has an inverse given by a inverse equals to one over determinant times adjoint a okay it is the same formula as two times two however now um, the dimension has expand okay and to find the determinant it will be different than two times two the, the, the determinant of two times two is only ad minus bc however to find determinants of three times three if you still remember okay there are two methods in which the diagonal expansion method as well as the minor and cofactor method okay and then two times with your adjoint a adjoint a is the uh, cofactor transpose Okay, let's see this example given the matrices a b and c find its inverse i will show you how to find inverse of a okay and you will have to find for yourself b and c i will give you example i will give you answer for that okay so this is the example just now so to find the inverse of a we have the formula a inverse equals to one over determinant a times with adjoint a in which the adjoint a is the c transpose the cofactor transpose okay so now we find adjoint a first so actually adjoint a is um cofactor so let's say this is c11 c12 c13 and so on Okay, the C is a cofactor. Okay, how do you find cofactor? You have to find the minor. Okay, and then the cofactor is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. This is the cofactor sign. Okay, so you still remember. If you're not, uh, if you don't remember this one, you have to look back again in our first video. Okay. Okay, so how do you find the minor? before the cofactor sign so c11 is actually uh, when you omit the row one and the column one so what's left there is one negative one negative one zero the c12 is when you omit the row one and column two so what's left is 3, negative 1, 2, 0. However, the cofactor sign for here will be negative. Okay? And you do the rest with the same method. So from here you do the AD minus BC. AD minus BC.
Okay, so this is the answer for your uh, adjoint A, which is negative 1, 2, 0, negative 2, 4, negative 5, negative 5, 5, negative 5. Okay, what is your inverse? For your inverse will be 1 over determinant times with your adjoint matrix. So we have to find the determinants here. Let's say I just use the diagonal expansion method. Okay, in which I expand uh, two more columns. have your determinants equals to 5 so your inverse is equals to 1 over 5 negative 1 2 0 negative 2 4 negative 5 negative 5 5 negative 5 which will be negative 1 over 5 2 over 5 0 negative 2 over 5 4 over 5 negative 1 then negative 1 1 and negative 1 Okay, now you may do B and C. Okay, so if you already did find the inverse of B and C, this is the answer. You may check the answer. So that's it for this video. We will learn about a system of linear equations in the next video. Meanwhile, please do all the exercises first, the example uh, in this slide. Stay tuned. See you next video. Thank you.